All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to the Caspa community. Yes, guys, you're not looking at this wrong. Caspa is also up with this market momentum, up 4.5%. I'm sure a lot of people in the community are finally like, hey, there we go. Finally, Caspa is making some sort of move. And, um, you know, looking across the board, guys, you know, we are going into Monday morning on a really positive note, as you can see. Uh, which I'm sure no one is really complaining about, but let's take a closer look and see what is happening right now. And of course, what is yet to come. Before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking at the price of Casper, 13.35 cents, up 5% in USD and about 3.6% in Bitcoin comparative. Market cap is at about $3.3 billion and the 24 hour trading volume at about $33 million. But let's shift our focus towards the price, really take a look at what exactly is happening right now and what is triggering um, you know, the broader market to be in green. And I'm sure when you do see these types of moves, a lot of people get excited and nor is anyone going to be complaining when they see um, you know, the broader market up. Uh, but if you're looking at the Bitcoin dominance, this is something that I want to point out to you guys and I want you guys to really understand the importance of the dominance index. And if you follow the channel on a regular day-to-day -day basis, I'm sure you guys already know about this, but you're looking at the dominance index going down and it has gone down quite substantially. Um, obviously, pretty much in a grand scheme of things, still on the verge of breaking towards the new yearly high but the fact that it has dropped against bitcoin price going doing the complete opposite what bitcoin did just a few hours ago was it was able to hit sixty nine thousand six hundred dollars yes you've heard that correct um, obviously it's going to find a little bit of a rejection uh, around that 70k resistance because seventy thousand dollars is a psychological price point but nonetheless bitcoin did the opposite so you know when dominance goes down and bitcoin goes up you do tend to see altcoins and the broader market you know react in a very positive way to that specific um, you know move and um, that's exactly what we're noticing happening for um, you know the price of um, you know Casper as well as a lot of other altcoins but Bitcoin guys you know Bitcoin is worthwhile noting uh, BTC uh, you know obviously made its way up to $69,500 just a few hours ago and I do expect um, you know that wick to be filled in but with that said, let's shift our focus towards the price of Casper and really see what is happening with Cas. So in terms of the trading volume, of course, you know, people are going to come out and say for the market valuation for uh, Casper, the, um, you know, trading volume is quite low. And that is something uh, everyone knows and no one is going to really argue upon that uh, because of the fact that is true. We know what is a huge cause of that and that is not being listed on the big centralized one exchanges. With that said, um, you know, the price of Caspa was able to show us a little bit of relief within its price. And what I mean by that is, let me just quickly zoom in for you guys. So you can see um, from September 17th, pretty much 11.9 cents retest. If you picked it up at that price point, you're up about 12% for Caspa, which I'm sure um, if you timed it right, I'm sure you're not complaining about a 12% gain. But what you're noticing is, the price of Caspa obviously did react to the market momentum, but you can make this up. It retested exactly at the neckline of that key resistance at 13.5 cents, but never managed to actually close above there. But so far, you could really start to understand that these resistances and these support levels that I have drawn on the charts are significant, um, you know, levels. Um, you're not just seeing coincidentally that the price of Caspa just managed to retest exactly at that key re resistance and just got uh, rejected. These are key key levels that you need to keep an eye out on but nonetheless you know if you want to be looking at it from that specific price point on October uh, 17th you're seeing the price of Caspa is trying it's definitely trying to break towards the upside despite the fact that there is less volume um, but you know this move is something that is worthwhile noting but with that said now Bitcoin is like I said, looking extremely bullish. Bitcoin could break out towards seventy thousand dollars even tomorrow if it continues this pattern. Um, if it's able to break above seventy thousand dollars, I do believe that Caspa uh, could make its way back to the August. I'm sorry, October fourteenth levels, which was around that fourteen cents price point. But um, you really want to see the price of Caspa in the seventy eight point six at least. But uh, the bare minimum, as I've stated to you guys before on the updates, is around that thirteen point five cents, which looks like 
uh, could actually become a support in the upcoming hours ahead of us, especially if Bitcoin is able to break more towards the upside. But so far, so good. You know, we should give Casper some credit uh, for this specific move. I know a lot of people in the community want to see those all time high territory uh, retests, but you know, forget about that. You know, want to think about it uh, one step at a time, baby steps before we get to uh, you know, those conversations. If you're already talking about all time highs right now, you got this completely wrong. You want to talk about you know what's the realistic uh, target first is and then we could kind of take it away from there uh, in my opinion you know all-time high talks begin once we're back above this key resistance which is at the 17.36 cents until then um, you know our goal is to get into the 78.6 and we'll take it from there but let me know down below what you guys think right now what are your personal projections just uh, so you guys know uh, the price of Casper in order for it to get back into the 78.6 it's still about a 15% move towards the upside but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think what are your personal projections where do you see the price of caspa going um but you know back to uh, you know some bearish um you know obviously statement i still am sticking to what i said in my last update if bitcoin you know leading into the election were to see a major pullback and historically speaking you know for the year of 2024 we have seen those uh, multiple different pullbacks if that were to happen i still do believe caspa could fall uh, to the levels we projected but with that said the higher the price of caspa is leading to into the election the better it is in my opinion because you just don't want to see the price of caspa falling below the 10 cents because it will invalidate you know this upwards trajectory that we've been in pretty much since quarter four of last year love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out